I want to show you guys some things that you absolutely need as a content creator. Whether you shoot videos with your phone or you shoot videos with your camera, but you edit on your cell phone or you shoot videos with your camera and you edit on your laptop, whatever the case might be, you absolutely need an accessory bag. Now I'm gonna recommend this. This is a cheaper one. I got this for like $8 on Amazon. It has two sides, so I'm not using it currently because I have another one that I use. And I just have this now as like an extra one if I ever do need like something extra to put more stuff in. So you can put SD cards in here and it has like pockets here where I'm guessing you can put whatever fits there for you maybe like a remote shutter stuff like that and it also has like another side over here so when i use this when i first got it i used to put my sd card reader or my hard drive in here and then it has like something with a zip over here so this is what it looks like and it actually holds like a pretty good amount if you're a beginner you don't really need anything like large or crazy so the next thing i'm going to show you guys is this is more large and it holds like more things so i have all my stuff in here currently as you guys can see this is my sd card reader it actually comes with like its own sd card slot so you can literally just use this to save your sd cards but i already had this and i know as i grow as a content creator i'm probably gonna have so many sd cards so i might have use for this or i might just give it to somebody else i don't know what i'm about to show you has nothing to do with the type of camera that you have whether you have a canon whether you have a lumix whether you have a nikon it really doesn't matter what type of camera you have as long as that camera uses the sd card and you use it to record this can work for pretty much any device that you have so a lot of things nowadays are actually going to USB-C's and I hear that the new iPhone is going to be like a USB-C but instead of you having this charging port right here you're going to have a USB-C one right which means you're going to need something like this and also if you have a MacBook if you have an iPad Pro or something pretty much most of the iPads now you're going to need a USB-C so instead of this you're going to need something like this but if you currently need something for your iPhone and you know you don't plan on upgrading your phone none of that you're gonna need something like this this is what it looks like i got this one from apple as you guys can see do you need to get the one from apple i don't think so to be honest the other brand that i love i trust with everything in me and i love their product is from this brand called ancar am i saying it right ancar ancar <laughs> however it's pronounced i love this brand so much if i am not getting like a phone charger from apple i'm always going to get it from this brand so this one i use on my laptop and i also use it on my ipad and what i do is i put the sd card in here this is your sd card what you do is you just put it in here if you put the sd card in the wrong way you're gonna know so let's take this out and try it again this other way and as you can see it's not even going in so when you're doing it wrong you're definitely gonna know when you're doing it right you are going to know it's gonna be the same thing for this all you have to do is put it in as you can see when I'm doing it the wrong way it's not doing anything for me so just flip it and now it's inside the SD card reader so now all you have to do is connect this to your phone and if you just want to transfer photos there's a way you're supposed to do it and I'm gonna show you guys okay so I'm gonna put the SD card back in here and you can actually see like a little SD card sign over here so it shows you how to put it inside and then I'm gonna connect this down here so if you want to import photos from the SD card to your phone all you have to do is go to where it says photos okay so now that you're in photos you're gonna see this pop-up right here that says import when you take out this actually this is not gonna be here let me show you guys exactly what I mean let's take this out and as you can see it's gone all you have is the search album for you and library right now we're gonna put this back all you want to do is click on that so these are the photos that I have right now on this SD card and I use the Sony ZV-1F to take these pictures so let's say I want to import these photos all I have to do is just click the photos that I want to you know import to my phone and then now you want to do import and it's going to tell you import complete would you like to delete imported photos from the attached camera so if you do click delete it's going to delete the photos off from your sd card so if you want to keep it just say keep in this case we're going to say keep and then that's it so now you want to go back to your albums right here and then you're going to see underneath your recent there we go okay as you can see these are the photos so yeah just take the same steps if you take photos Photos with your camera and you want to import them just again put your SD card right here plug it into the phone go to your photos go to import and import the photos that you want to import and you can post them on your social media or edit them on your phone whatever you decide to do now let me show you guys how to do videos we're gonna exit out on your iPhone you have 
something that's called files so this is basically just something apple has on your phone where you can save your files so the things you have in your files are things that you cannot save in maybe let's say your photos app right okay so when i opened up files it brought me to recent and as you can see these are actually videos from my sd card but we want to see like the full thing right so you want to click where it says browse over here click that and it's going to take you to like wherever i guess it wants to take you click on this arrow right here that's going to take you back and then it's going to bring you right here what you want to do is you want to look for the sd card the sd card is going to be this untitled so let's click on that and you're going to have these two things right here usually the photos are usually here dcim and those are the photos so let's go back we don't want the photos we already did that in the photos app on the iphone you want to go to where it says private and then on my sd card this is where i go to see the videos click on that and you're going to see clip and then i have all my videos here okay these are all the videos no photos these are all just videos let's say i just want to bring all of them to my photos app and edit my videos off my phone save it and post it to youtube you want to click this three dots up here and click where it says select and then you just want to select all you click where it says the share down here all the way to your left right there and then what you want to do is save 25 videos you want to click on that i don't want to save that much videos to my phone these videos i usually edit on my laptop that's where i edit but again if you edit on your phone this is basically how you do it but let me just show you guys how i will basically save a video i'm just going to look for one video out of the bunch and just save those so let's go back so it's going to be the same idea let's say you don't want to import all the videos you just want to import some videos same thing just click the three dots right here select and just select the videos that you want to bring to your phone and then after you've selected them same thing click share and then you're going to say save five videos let's actually try it out i'm going to do that save five videos and then after that you want to click done if your videos are really long it's going to take you some time for you to see it in your photos app so after you click save and you go to your photos app and let's say you don't see the videos right away i don't want you guys to panic it is definitely going to show up in your as you look at it <laughs> it literally pop up with me you know trying to explain to you guys but the other ones are gonna come up too so you guys will see that shortly okay so one more video came into my camera roll i just wanted to mention make sure you don't take this out of your phone just because you already clicked save on the files the videos are not yet like all the videos the five videos that i chose they're all not yet in my camera roll right so if you take this off it's obviously not gonna finish like bringing the videos over to your camera Roll. when all the videos are here or let's say you're transferring pictures from like the sd card to here it's the same idea you want to leave it connected to your phone until you're done until you see the last one in your camera roll then you can go ahead and disconnect it and just like you know put that aside all the videos are finally here and the last thing i want to show you guys let's go to CapCut on my phone and i'm just going to show you guys how to like bring the videos to your editing um software discard so we're going to click where it says edit and then what you're going to do is click where it says new project and just like you know just select the videos basically select the videos let's just select two of these videos for now because this is just an example and now you have the videos in your timeline when you have your videos in here it's basically called your timeline so now you can do whatever you want to do you can edit if you guys want a detailed tutorial on how to edit vlogs or any type of videos on your iphone let me know i will do a detailed video okay guys so that's pretty much it for today's video i will most definitely do more videos around this if you guys have any questions any questions that you have leave them in the comment section for me i'm actually going to be shooting like a q a of like just random questions that you guys have it's not going to be like specifically just about camera or phone or whatever the case might be it's going to be like an all-around q a so leave me your comments in the comment section if you have a content creator friend send this to them so they can leave me their comments i already have a lot of questions written down because whatever videos i post i always have maybe like one or two people asking something that has nothing to do with the video which is okay i don't mind that so sometime this week or next week sunday i'm gonna post a video with the q a before i end this video if you're new to my channel you definitely want to subscribe you definitely want to turn on your post notifications you can check my other videos i post a lot of educational videos and my reviews are amazing turn on your post notifications and every single sunday i upload videos I'll see you guys in my next video. Love y'all. Peace.